Hey guys, Pamel Cartman here again today. Um, now I've got another one for you, and this time it is on this television series called Scatoony. So, as you may know, Scatoony is a children's show which features kids going up against cartoons in quiz rounds. It is there is a British version and a North American version. And I'm going to be going through some of the problems that Scatoonie has. Well, mainly when comparing the two different versions. So, it features real life kids going up these cartoons. The North American version compared to the British version. There is a change in owners of Scatoonie. Like, for the North American version, they have Charles Le Puck owning the studio, but the British version has Tony Eagle Eyes, and even their nephews change in each season. They have TJ for the British version, and DJ for the North American version. I mean, and it, the North American version is actually better than the British version. It has... How can you say? The North American version has other cartoons from other TV series coming on to compete, like Total Farmer and Jimmy Two Shoes. Why couldn't the British version have this as well? I mean, seriously, they needed to have them on the British version, even though Total Farmer is Canadian. So, anyway, another issue really is the animation and voices on the British version seem to be terrible beyond belief like a lot of the voices they're just really out of tune i don't know why i don't know if it's just me or and the, even the animation seems to have changed so then with the challenges it features some of the characters they answer questions true and false things like bang on or bogus and some of the characters instantly answer some of these questions wrong as we might see here, we've got characters like Lightning not claiming he's a sports fan and he did not even answer it correctly. Lightning! Easy! So bogus! Wrong! It's bang on! That's what I said! Just admit you lost that question! Never! So then, in several episodes we get... To in the North American version, we get total drama characters being introduced here. So, so in some of them, like, hang on. So in season one, to the Quiz Cave, episode seven, we've got Gwen coming on the show. And we get CJ or TJ's first appearance here. Kurt, I don't know either one of these weirdos. I thought I was signing up for a music class, Ska Tooney. And then she can also be seen here in the bit before the round starts. Everyone gets themselves ready here. You think you're ready? Ready to eat them alive! <laughs> like, all these voices in the North American version are actually really good. They sound very matchy with everything, and they even have special special episodes like based on seasonal events like Halloween and Christmas, like, which is really cool and all, but when looking at the British versions, they just seem to be really torn down. I don't know why. Like They have a Christmas version here. <laughs> And it's Christmas, so we get a present we can use as a surprise. You want me to con Santa on a list of things that are naughty and nice? That ain't nice. No present, no prize. No prize, no quiz show. No quiz show, no job. Merry Christmas, everybody. Merry Christmas. Huh? What? Already? It seems to get earlier every year. Are you sure? No. Charles, I'm not sure a fully nice old man is the right thing to do. You what? Oh yeah, it's totally Christmas, right? Yeah, so we get other characters join the show. Like Zoe, and there's loads of characters actually joining it. But just, wow. Yeah, don't hang around. 
Yeah. 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 Ye